What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Project Smart video. And today we're gonna be checking out our smart switches brand newly installed in this house. I'll be honest, I've been researching smart switches and you know, smart switches could be expensive and some of these, some of the pricing on these switches are just outrageous, but I did want something that was reliable, not cheap, I don't really wanna go cheap on the house, but I did want stuff that was on the lower end as far as compared to like the other things. I'm gonna take the camera, I'm gonna flip it because you guys don't like selfie mode. We're gonna take a look at what smart switches I chose for this house. So now keep in mind, before I made the ultimate decision on what I wanted for the house, I did grab a couple of test units. Not to mention this company is the same company that I actually did my light, my Christmas tree lights and some other stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are using sewn off switches in this house. Sewn off makes a couple of different types. We got three gang, we got two gang, and we have one gang. Basically what those mean is that it basically tells you how many switches are in it. This right here is a two gang switch. We have two light switches. This one right here is a three gang switch. We have three light switches. And they have another one which is a one gang, which is a single light switch. Most, if not, maybe 90% of the light switches in this house are sewn off based T1 series light switches. Again, trying to get away from the old school rocker switches. I really didn't want that. I wanted everything in this house to be smart. Everything, Every I want to control every single light on my phone. The only ones I kind of left with the old school rocker switch, I mean, again, your standard switch, is the ones that like are rarely gonna be used. For example, this area here is my workbench, soon to be. But we are pre-wiring it just in case I do want to add a smart switch to it. So now keep in mind, for you to do smart switches, you do need to run neutral wires. I'm not touching any of that because it is live. Luckily with the help of my brother, DGJ Contracting, he's doing all the work in the house. We have contracted him to do everything in this house. He's been knocking these things out. Amazing stuff. Again, sewn off T1 series light switches. Again, I did my research. I bought one or two of these just to test. And I really liked the sleek look of these light switches, not to mention there's no need for the housing and the plates. This already comes with it. You take this off once the whole sheet rocking is done and this will look amazing and clean. I love the blue LED look to it, the on and off look to it. It just looks amazing. Not to mention the touch sensitive. I mean, I'm not touching it now, but now I'm touching it. Touch sensitive on it. So there's no switch sticking out it's all touch sensitive and I can't get enough of it. Again, we got different areas going on. So this area right here is strictly for this entrance hallway. We have a chandelier that's gonna go up there. This side right here is strictly outside. So we do have our soffit lighting. We do have our, um, I'm not gonna open up the door. Ah. We do have our like lamp post lighting that's up here. There's a, there's a door light here and there's a light down by the driveway. So that three gang is strictly just for outside. Again, the big reason I am filming this right now is because Monday Verizon's coming in, we are getting Fios internet installed in this house and it's a perfect timing now to get all our videos knocked out and show off what basically the house could do. Uh, again, dining room area, we do have a smart switch to it. Again, I wanted smart switches. It was the first thing I wanted and I did shop around. There is another type of switch that we do have in this house because the wife wants dimmers. These are Amazon, um, I forgot what it was called, Treat Life? Something like that. Treat Life or Sweet Life. These are dimmer switches, really nice. I'm gonna actually bring this all the way down. Let's turn all these off. Again, we are still in construction phase, so nothing is, nothing is in wall mounted yet. We still have to do sheet rocking and you know compounding. But this is basically the other type of smart switch that's in this house. Again, dimmer 
on this so we do have three dimmers going on on this area also in our den area we have another three dimmers going on real quick in our kind of formal living room i guess this is where the christmas tree would go we have three types of lights three types of switches activated we have our four hi-hats we have a light over the fireplace and we have a light in the window so with that you do need a three gang switch or three separate switches on this right here we went with amazon treat life dimmer switches pretty cheap i think i paid for the pair i think it was 60 bucks so 30 bucks each treat life we'll put it down in the description below but basically we do have touch sensitive dimming on this basically even with the light off you could kind of adjust the dim on this again we do have the protective kind of plastic still on this let's just bump these all the way up to 100 percent just to show you kind of the brightness output on this again all the way up brightness all the way up these things are bright but also i mean that the dimmer doesn't make it bright it's the led units we are using the torch star six inch led unit which again is another device another video to come that there was not many videos a lot of reviews but not many videos on it but basically we torch starred the whole entire house after i got one pack I said, this is it. They're cheap, affordable, and they look amazing, and they are bright as hell. But real quick, again, we are focusing on light switches. So on this here, you could dim it. We could go half and half. We could go all the way down to 1%. I'm going to bring these all the way down. And now this right here is all the way down and dim. Still light in here. It is light, but it's not as bright. So on a Christmas kind of night, this would be perfect as far as the Christmas tree going here and all that. So again, we do have one switch that's going over the fireplace, one switch over the window, and then one that's controlling the four pucks in the ceiling. So let's do one at a time. Let's turn these off. We're gonna leave the four on. And as you can see, like our over the window one with the glare, it's off. Basically again, really nice stuff. You just hit it off and there you have it. These don't really dim slowly. It's not like a slow dim, kind of like the animation just showed. These are just kind of on and off. Again, I don't, can't really tell if it's the lights that do that or if it's the dimmer. But again, just to show you real quick as far as dim. There you have it. We could turn that off. Let's see which one is this. This is over the window. So again, even with that, originally over this window, there was three four inch lights on this and we basically said screw it because if we put three of the torch stars it's too bright so we, we just wound up doing just one so again really cool stuff we got the torch star we got the treat life dimmer switches and again i didn't really go all out with the dimmers it's just in that area right there and our kind of entertainment den area on this same concept on this we got three switches on this so we do have kind of a bay one side bay and then edge bay there so these dimmers will do that we did not put the torch stars yet again kind of a bad video because they're not mounted but at least you kind of see and get an idea again torch stars are not mounted on these but they will be converted soon again dimmer switches on this so I really don't want to flip it because this was very live, but at least you could see it. Also, again, smart dimmer switches. So these will talk with Alexa and they will work accordingly. Before we made any modifications to the kitchen, the kitchen light switch did have dimmers here. All these were dim. This again is another three gang. They had one set of lights here one switch here and then we had over the sink so they did have dimmers on this it's just for me i didn't really want to put too many dimmers because i'm not a fan of dimmers so these are just straight on and off again touch sensitive with the sewn off the sewn off i really like it it's very responsive i mean you have to make sure you do hit it right in the middle you know if you kind of hit the edge you really won't get it you got to really hit that like in there, which I don't mind. I do like that. Sometimes, you know, on a quick kind of walk, you wish you kind of hit it. But 99% of the time you do hit it. 
real quick. We're gonna just turn this off. These are torch star lights. Again, we don't have them mounted to the ceiling, but they're just bright. Not bright in a bad way. I mean, right now, because of the camera glare, they're not really mounted correctly, but these give off a lot of light. So again, another video speaking about torch star later on, but we have four inches on this. Again, just at night, you kind of light up the kitchen. Really liking it so far. I mean, that's really it. The big thing also, we went with smart switches because with smart switches, you could do smart things. So one kind of thing about this room here, we don't have three ways going on. So it's not like you see right now, if I enter through the garage, I have to walk across to turn this light on, which I know, you know, it is one flaw, but it's not a three way. So to alleviate that stress, this store will be closed. And again, with smart switches, you could do smart things. We're going to be looking at putting the door sensor here. Basically, once this door is open with the smart sensor, it will then just turn this room on. Again, same thing as far as the garage. You could kind of see it. Again, we're going to do a Torch Star video later on, but the Torch Star, there, this is a different Kelvin color in this room compared to this room. I needed white, the wife wanted brown. So as you can see, again, another smart switch. As you can see, I didn't fully hit it. I mean, it is responsive. I really dig it. Again, this is out the T1. Sonoff did make a newer version of this, kind of instead of a circle, it is a square. Um, I could have bought it, they are the same price, but I already purchased like 12 of the T1s. It would look dumb if I did the T2s for the rest. So. They're already here, really liking it. Again, smart switches, so much tech in this house. Again, so much tech in this house. I just love the tech and I just love how everything is going so far. Again, love it.